The Melbourne surgeon giving FGM survivors their orgasms back through clitoris restoration. Yay. This is such a great story, guys. This is such a great story, and I'm so sorry if I um, botched this guy's name. But Melbourne-based plastic surgeon Mansoor Mirkazimi uh, operated pro bono on Jules, a victim of female genital mutilation, making her the first woman in Australia to undergo restoration in 2018. Earlier this month, uh, the doctor and fellow Australian doctor Miranda Hahn went to Kenya to train and operate with an international team, including Dr. Bowers. Now Dr. Mir Kazimi, along with another plastic surgeon in the Kenya team, wants to go a step further and reconstruct lost anatomy. A year after her surgery, Jewel says she feels more confident and has a better self-image. Dr. Merkazimi, who came to Australia as a refugee from Iran, said it was his own experiences that made him want to reach out to FGM survivors. And in case you guys missed this in the beginning, um, he's operating pro bono. He is not getting paid to Holy go shit. out and do these surgeries. He's not getting paid to go around the world and train these other doctors into helping reconstruct women after these surgeries. Wait, this guy, this is a doctor from Iran? Yes. That he's because a of his experience in Australia. What is he referring to his experience? And he's practicing in Australia and he's giving. Wait, how is that even possible? I thought, like, nerve. Is it nerve endings that are being cut, right? If well, nerve endings so are being cut, I, th I didn't know nerve neurons are something that could be repaired. So here's, here's what happens during a female genital mutilation. They completely remove the clitoris, which is um, actually rather large in its anatomy. What you see might be small, but the clitoris is, is quite huge. They, they remove just the, the part that's exposed that feels good. So um, And some of them go all the way and remove like the entire clitoris, which is very rare, but they can do that. So what this doctor is trying to do for the women who just had it removed from the part that you can see and feel and now they just have like scar tissue over it is to actually kind of pull a little bit of the clitoris out that's hidden beneath that scar tissue to help them um, actually have orgasms. So I think this is incredible. Um, I know that a lot of people when they discuss female genital mutilation versus uh, circumcision, what you have to understand is once the clitoris is removed, it'd be the same as removing the entire tip of a man's penis, the extra sensitive part. It's an actual piece of an organ that's being removed. So women can't feel any pleasure at all um, once their clit has been removed like that during FGM. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, you, so... Um, genetically modified skeptic is saying that doctor just became the sexiest man alive. Yes. Wolf, Wolf is saying this man is an absolute hero. Give him a, a Pulitzer Prize or okay. And is that how you pronounce that? Um, Pulitzer. Yeah. Pulitzer. But so yeah, that's very interesting. I really didn't think that's possible. If I uh, didn't know that when you damage nerve endings, there's anything you can do about that, um, which is great. That is possible. Uh, can so yeah, and also a lot of people. By the way, a lot, that's a very that's a very interesting comparison that you make because a lot of people compare uh, female genital mutilation to male genital mutilation, otherwise known as uh, circumcision. Um, and when uh, it's fair to say that circum male circum you know infant male circumcision is not getting uh, the attention that it deserves, which is, it, it, do, it does need to get more attention because it's also barbaric, but it's not fair to say that these are the same. Uh, I mean, even though both of them are barbaric and they, they should both be criminal, um, you're right, like removing uh, the entire clitoris uh, is you're removing a lot more nerve endings. Uh, compared to what you would do with male circumcision. But both of them need to be banned. Both of them need to be criminal. And comparing them doesn't mean that you're saying they're the same. In fact, you wouldn't if they were the same, you wouldn't need to compare them. Uh, Sopam is saying humanity still has hope. Oh, yeah. There is a lot more. By the way, uh, we should have more good news because like a lot of people get very uh, sad when they follow the news. There's a lot more stories like this 
there's a lot more good news out there. I promise. There's a lot more good things happening in the world than bad things. Okay. Um, we are. The world is going in the right direction. But the reason why it's going in the right direction is because we've. Whenever bad things happen, we talk about it and we try to fix it. Okay. So while we do cover bad news more than good news, please. Oh, here's. If you ever are worried about. If you ever lose hope, go read this book. Um, Enlightenment Now by Steven Pinker to, if you really want to have more hope for humanity, read this book, okay? Um, anyways, let me see. There's any other comment. Okay, should we go to... Ali, did you want to add anything else? I just, I, I agree with everyone. This guy is an, an absolute hero. Right. I absolutely adore him. Like, I want to do more research about this guy. Oh. You I want to see what his experiences were from Iran that led him to do this. Like I said, guys, yeah. he's doing this for free. This is all pro bono. Yeah, I don't because there, there's I don't know how common FGM is in Iran, but no, not in this, not in where I was. It was in practice. So I don't know what experiences he's specifically talking about. Yeah. Um, Yuval is saying there is also a practice of foreskin restoration. Interesting. Um, Yuval is also saying, by the way, Kellogg from from the Corn Flakes is said to be an advocate of FGM. In, in Judaism, the reasoning given for circumcision, circumcision is reducing sexual urge of the guys. No health, as some people would have you believe. Yes, there is absolutely no health benefit to circumcision. That's a lie. By the way, genetically modified skeptic, if you're in the live chat still, can you make a... Because uh, genetically modified skeptic's YouTube channel is very much uh, anti-pseudoscience. So the benefit of circumcision is pseudoscience. So I would think that would be a very good uh, video to make. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.